Hi, welcome back to Diode Press and part two of this print. If you missed part one, here's a link and I'll also put it down in the description box. So we left off last video ready to run a proof of the plate and see how things are looking. So before I can ink up the plate, I have to cut out these three small squares of paper to shink clay onto the plate, which means basically to glue them down while at the same time printing the plate. Now I mix up some black Akua Intaglio ink and stiffen it up a bit using a little bit of Akua Magmix. I use a piece of cardstock to gently apply the ink to the plate and then wipe the plate. I'll be uploading a video soon detailing this whole process a bit more. I line the plate up on the press bed and make sure the little plastic pieces line up properly onto the plate. The last step before printing is to add some nori paste to adhere the small paper squares. Then I line them up glue side facing up. I've had my paper soaking for about an hour, so I blot it off with a clean towel and then line it up on the paper and run it through the press. So here's the first proof. The plate still needs work, but honestly, I don't like the gray paper squares at all or the debossing of the paper. The plastic was so thin it hardly shows up, and even less so on camera. So I'm putting down a new plastic sheet on top of my template, and making the legs out of a thicker mat board as a base. So I cut them out to fit on the plate, trimming as required for a nice clean fit. These are then hot glued down to the plastic plate. I thought I wanted the squares at the end to pop more, so I cut squares out of lino and then glued them down. Finally, I add back the plastic top layer, glue it down, and cut it out to match the shape I needed. This was to protect the mat board from the moisture in the paper, and also to allow debossing on top of the copper plate. And here you can see how the plate slips under the plastic and meets up against the mat board. I 
I ink up the squares using a scrap of plastic around the squares to protect the area that I don't want to get ink onto. Then I ink up the plate and run another print. So again, I'm even less happy with this. The glue I used to secure the plastic gives a really uneven texture onto the legs, and the linoleum's too thick, so when the paper stretches over it, it's kind of pulling the ink off the plate and onto the sides of the paper. So while I contemplate what to do next, I decided to focus on the mezzotint plate itself. So I lightened up a few areas, and then using a template and a dry point needle, I drew in some more details. Another proof and things are starting to come along good for the plate. Again, I'm adding a bit more detail with the template and then lightening up a few more areas. In reality, I spent hours working on the plate, but here are a few highlights. And then one more proof. I think I'm about 90% happy at this point with the print, but I want to add a bit more dry point and then lighten up a few more areas. I also decided what I wanted to do with the three leg pieces. Once again, I recut them out of mat board, but this time I rounded the edges and decided to deboss the whole leg structure rather than try to add color or extra paper and just keep it simple. I think this made the print really work for me. And finally, here's the final proofing and the finished print. I'm really happy with the final print. I had a lot of design changes throughout the whole process and a couple iterations that were almost too horrible to show. But I think it's important to kind of show the whole thing with the good and the bad. Sometimes prints just really fight me, and I have a few that have been abandoned altogether. But I think kind of persevering through this one worked out in the end. Alright, so let me know down in the comments if you have any questions on what you think of the final print, and hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. And also, if you're interested in seeing more of my work, or purchasing this or another one of my prints, I'll have a link down in the description box for that too. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon with a new video.